In the northwest portion of this land of ours is Montana, the treasure state, third largest among the states of the Union. Great names in Montana's history are Lewis and Clark, whose expedition up the Missouri led them through this region, which the French had called the Land of the Shining Mountains. The name Montana means mountains. But though the state can claim some of the most magnificent mountain scenery in the world, not all of this area is mountainous. In the eastern part of the state are great stretches of grassland and farmlands as rich and fertile as any in our nation. Montana's capital city is Helena. Helena owes its existence to the discovery of gold. Mining operations are still important in Helena, but today most of her residents are employed by governmental agencies, for Helena is the political center of Montana. In the west central section of Montana is Missoula, a trading center for a rich agricultural area. Missoula is the home of the Montana State University. The university offers a great variety of courses. Its forestry school in particular has distinguished itself with nearly all of its graduates employed by the United States Forestry Service. Montana's largest city is Butte, the copper metropolis of America. The city is built over one of the richest mineral deposits in the world. Beneath the city are more than 2,000 miles of tunnels cut through enough copper to satisfy the needs of our nation for decades. In Butte is a statue erected to the memory of Marcus Daly, one-time master of the state's copper industry. Nearby, at Anaconda, is one of the world's largest non-ferrous metal reduction plants. And incidentally, this stack is said to be the tallest smokestack ever constructed. It is only natural that Montana and Butte should be the home of one of the nation's foremost schools of mineralogy and metallurgical engineering, the Montana State School of Mines. Through these great copper doors, past students attracted by unequaled opportunities for first-hand study of the mining of copper, lead, zinc, gold, silver, coal, oil, and other minerals that lie in vast quantities beneath the surface of the treasure state. Although copper is of tremendous importance to the state's economy, agriculture is the leading industry, with wheat a major crop. The state ranks seventh in the nation as a producer of this basic grain. The state's abundant feed and special climate make her one of the nation's leading wool-producing areas. On her vast range lands are millions of sheep, famous for both the quantity and quality of their cliff. Cattle, too, are important in Montana. Look at these healthy specimens. They're here to take on fattening rations. And boy, do they love that good old Montana hay. That's what puts the beef on them. And say, partner, how's about a real vacation on one of Montana's dude ranches? For that real old western hospitality and a place to get away from it all, the great open spaces, there's nothing like it. By the way, just to prove that you're really in the wild and woolly west, here's the National Bison Range. On this range, the bison, the American buffalo, 
grazes unmolested in his natural habitat. That white one's a rarity, one of the only albino buffalo ever born in a supervised herd. According to naturalists, the chances for an albino are only one in seven million births. And speaking of buffalo, what do you think of next? That's right, Indians. Here we are at Glacier National Park, met by Indians of the Blackfeet tribe. Hi, partner. Glacier National Park is a region of incomparable grandeur. Its scenery unsurpassed. In the park are the finest of accommodations, hotels and lodges offering guests every comfort and convenience. Accessible by auto over the Going to the Sun Highway is a vast wild region of peaks and mountain passes. Logan Pass, one of the highest points on the Continental Divide. The park's attractions are almost inexhaustible. Who can ever forget the quiet loveliness of its mountain lakes? The thrill of trout leaping to the fisherman's cast. Or the awe-inspiring sight of glaciers. Great rivers of ice clinging to precipitous slopes, grinding relentlessly downward. A great state, Montana, to live in or to visit, to remember always. Helena is its capital. Butte, its copper center, built on the richest hill on earth while Billings is a center for wheat and livestock. Friendly cities, helping to make Montana the great state that she is. Montana with her schools, the State University at Missoula, the School of Mines at Butte, Montana with the tremendous riches of her mines and smelters, the product of her fertile fields, the sheep and cattle, that help to feed and clothe our people. Her Indians of the Blackfeet tribe. And as though all this were not enough, there's Glacier National Park, incomparable paradise of snow-capped mountains, towering peaks, and glaciers breathtaking in their beauty and grandeur. Yes, Montana is indeed the treasure state, land of virility and independence, Land of vast prairies and rolling fields of grain. Land of the shining mountains in this land of ours. Mm -hmm.